Ladies and gentlemen, welcome in. We have finally got into Madden 25, and today we're, we're doing a pack and play, and uh, we're going to see how good this actually is. No question about it. I am ready to get hurt again. So there has been a lot of hype about the college football video game, obviously. It's been a lot of fun, and now it's, it's Madden's turn, you know, to show that they flipped the script too. We have all of these packs to start out with. And then we have 46,000 cash to spend. Uh, I don't think you could see it, unfortunately, due to, uh, to the top there. But we've got a lot to spend. And we're going to spend it on, uh, on something here. And we're going to get playing then. Now here we're going to start out with the 80 overall fantasy pack. That pack animation is sick. That is sick. We get two choices. Start out with DJ Reed and then Dalton Schultz. Uh, you know, Schultz is, uh, he's a little speedy, I guess, but we do need cornerbacks pretty bad. We could go without a good tight end. We could not go without a good cornerback. So we're taking DJ Reed. Uh, and now we got the, uh, the pre-order bundle here. This animation is sick. They should have done this a long time ago. And wow, we got actually quite a bit here. We're going to start out with the AKA pre-order pack and we get a choice. That is amazing. D-Hop is one of the choices, and then the other choice is Tyran Matthew. All right. I, I, I don't know exactly who I want to choose here. I think we're going to go with Tyran Matthew. Hate on me all you want. We're taking the Honey Badger. I, I feel like the defense needs to be better than, than our offense. I feel like I can play with a bad offense, but not a bad defense. And now we have the Hall of Fame pre-order pack. I have no clue what's going to be in here. Julius Peppers to start out with. That's Dwight Freeney. We're taking Julius Peppers without a doubt so far. And then Devin Hester. I don't like smaller wide receivers. If you guys want offense, I'm sorry. We're, we're not going with offense to start this thing out. Uh, but now we do get Christian McCaffrey. We get some offense here. And, and obviously from here on out, we do need to focus a little more in on offense but it is what it is. It is what it is. And, uh, you know, I like what we are doing so far. And we get some strategies here. They even fixed that. That is pretty impressive. And uh, we're, we're going to... I'm going to worry more about the quarterback than the wide receiver there. And then same with the cornerbacks. Like I said, cornerbacks are important in Madden. We need to make sure that we're, we're doing all we can to get them. All right, now we have the MVP bundle uh, for the pre-order. I don't know what's in this. An exclusive mutt item. Dude, please be good. Please be good. Micah Parsons. That's pretty good. I, I, I'd say our defense is pretty solid. I, I'd like a user. I would really like a user. I don't know if we're going to get anything from this welcome pack. Uh, that would be really nice. We do get Sam Cosme. That'll be, that'll be a nice upgrade there. And uh, I believe we can make him... An overall higher. No, we need uh, we need five training first. We'll, we'll figure that out. We'll get that all fixed up. Next up, we got the rushing pack. I have no clue what this is. Uh, oh, it's just a... They changed the pack names. Okay. All right, let me figure this out. Left end, we're not going to use him. D-tackle, he'll be in. Left outside linebacker, he'll be in. Xavier Worthy. I think he's going to go for 100 yards. If we don't get a better wide receiver, he's going to go for easily 100 yards. There's our user. Not a great one. Lester Cotton will be nice. Trace Willing, Jake Funk will not play. And then finally, Troy Pride. It's kind of a dud. That's kind of a dud. We, we get some depth players there at least, though. But we need a better team if we're going into online, and that is a amazing, absolutely amazing animation. All of these are. And, okay, okay. We get another... EA, what are we doing here? So let me get this straight. Christian McCaffrey is a season one reward, but you also get him for pre-ordering the game. That That is the most pointless thing I have ever seen. Okay, you know, if this is the only bad thing about the game, that's fine. Whatever. But it's not going to be. EA is cheap. You spent all this money. Here's Christian McCaffrey. And hey, we're going to give everybody else the game that didn't pre-order it the same card. Just what? Two, three overall less? Come on, man. All right, rant out of the way. We are going to go in and we're going to we're going to buy some packs. All right. Here's the early bird. I don't know what'll be in here. That's actually really good. That's quite a bit, but that's actually really good. Or should we go Ooh. 
These are all unsellable, though. We're going with the early. Ultimate preseason early bird pack. Here we go. There's a very good shot. We get over an 85 in this pack. And to start out with, we get a 78 isn't bad. I'll take it. And I don't know what this animation is. We just pulled a limited card. Are you kidding me? Wayne Johnson in our second pack. We knew it was supposed to happen. But my goodness. And then we get Jalen Phillips. That'll probably be my user. Wow. Okay. I could quick sell him right now for 350,000 coins. He's selling on the auction house for about the same. That's insane. I, I might consider it. I'm going to take, we're going to take a closer look at the card here and we're going to figure out what we want to do with it. But we could get a much better team if we were to sell him. All right. I was going in to, to improve our team, but this is a really cool just setup they've got here. It shows the overalls that could change the better better players you could put in there that that is honestly amazing and i think too you can uh let me figure this out but you can move the player yeah look at that ea i'll give it to you i will give it to you that was pretty good now the team that we've got is not good all right we have t higgins i think i got that for joining the game uh, you get Xavier Worthy, that's fine. I'm good with those. But my big question here is the quarterback position. That's a big... No, we can't do that. And then, you know, the defense looks pretty solid. We don't have a good strong safety. That's another issue. Our corners are also a little light, but at this point in the game, we'll be fine with that. Special teams is okay. Um, we do need a quarterback pretty bad, though. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to buy the two ultimate preseason heroes here you can't sell them but that's okay we need players now I'm, I'm willing to spend a bit of bit of dough here we get donald parham which is great for the tight end position we needed one and then we get a middle linebacker but again we're not getting a quarterback which is what we really need and uh hopefully the ultimate preseason platinum pack will get it for us but we're about out of cash and uh we have no quarterback yet we might have to call an audible here we do get a center though Here's our platinum player. It would be nice. Derek Stingley. We get two ultimate. Wait, wait. Okay, hold on. 37. Okay, we get 14 for Laporta. I got an idea. So as much as I love Sam Laporta, we quick sold him. Because we do have the 82 overall Donald Parham who will take his spot. And what we need now, all we need is a quarterback. That's all we need. We have 14,000 coins after selling him. Defense looks solid. I don't think we need any improvements over on this side of the ball. A quarterback is what we need, though. And we now have the coins. I'm going to go in the auction house and see the best quarterback that we can get. All right, I do apologize. I know this is pack and play. We do have to pick up a quarterback, though. And we are going to get Anthony Richardson. Just a sweet card. I love Anthony Richardson. I think he's going to have an amazing season. I can't wait to see him healthy this year. So we're going to put him in on our team, and we're going to, we're going to go from there. All right, I, I did somehow complete a challenge, so we'd get a midfield pack. Uh, some more depth would be great here, you know? We do get a platinum player, Marcus Epps. We do need his free... That, that was the last position we needed to fill. Strong safety was the last position. Not a great pack, but we get Marcus Epps, which kind of solidifies this team. So here it is. Here is the squad. It, it is, it's stacked, man. Our wide receivers aren't as good as I would like them to be. Devon Vele, 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 I apologize if I'm not pronouncing that correctly, is our, our wide receiver. That's not great. But we do have a great quarterback, great running back, uh, and, and the defense is amazing too. We have one silver. We got one silver, that's it. I am not upset by that at all. And I, the cornerbacks are fine too. DJ Reed, Derek Stingley. Troy Pride will come in on a few plays. That's okay. The issues we do have, though, are our kicker and punter. I don't plan on kicking or punting, though. So is that going to be an issue? I don't think so. So now here we go. There is head-to-head -head ranked. We're not going to jump into that quite yet. We are going to play regular season head-to-head. -head. Uh, this is the normal mode, but maybe we can check out head-to-head -head ranked in a few days. But here we go. We're getting into our first game. It's going to be fun. All right, well, our first game, uh, he just quit. I don't know why. I think he lagged out halfway through the game. Uh, but we're going to do it again. 
Here's his top three. Micah Parsons, D-Hop, and Julius Peppers. Here's our top three. We got Parsons, the Honey Badger, and Nate Landman. That's a solid squad, man. We're playing at Lambeau Field, and uh, this is going to be fun. All right. To start out here, we're going to run it with, uh, with CMC. I feel like that's the best way to start this thing off, and we do get five yards on first down. I think I'm going to hurry this thing up. And I'm looking for Higgins. What the heck was that? What the heck was that? That ball just like fluttered for some reason. I have no clue why. Uh, I like what we got here though. Hopefully we hit a seam and there is a seam there. Parham with a great catch. That just did not feel right though. The game just does not feel completely right. I don't know what the issue is, but there's something going on here. And uh, that's okay. That is more than okay. Just came out. Can't expect it to be perfect. And All right, well, it sucks that you can actually make tackles in this game, unlike uh, the college football video game. And we're going to roll out with play action. I feel like this is probably going to be the best way to play with Anthony Richardson. He throws a dot to Higgins. First and ten, we're going to stick to the ground game. And uh, didn't really get, oh my gosh, getting sticky with it. All the way down to the three, the four. It's the four, but we're down inside the red zone. CMC is gassed, though, so we're going to throw this on first and goal, and we've got Higgins. Toddy. What a read. What a play. That's a heck of a way to start off the new, new Madden season. We get a Toddy. And now we get to play defense with a, a defense that we really stacked. And I missed that completely. There's no way I made it. And. All right, we got to work on the kicking a little more. But that's okay. That's all right. We're going to kick it to D-Hop. And uh, hopefully we make an open field tackle. We don't. They did fix the hit sticking, I guess, with physics. But according to my physics, uh, that should have been a tackle. All right, he's got Stroud. I wish I had Stroud. That's sweet. He's got CD2. This guy's got a stacked team. He's got a really stacked team, and we're all over that. Give me a Stevie on the first possession. Are you kidding me? Honey Badger makes a move, and we are down at the 29 already. Are you kidding? Texas. I'm just here to tell you, Pack is back. <laughs> All right, first and ten. Let's do this again, man. Uh, I'm free to score again. CMC with a great run. He stiff arms a guy, and he's down inside the ten again. All right. We got four tries to get in the end zone. And who needs four when you can do it in one? Who needs four when you can do it in one? I'm pretty hurt. All right, two-point conversion here. We, gotta, we missed the extra point. He was going for up the middle. Are you kidding me, man? Two. All right. First and 10 here. I'm going to get on land, man. We're in a 4-3. I expected him to run it. I mean, after you throw an interception on your very first pass of the game, you're probably going to run it next, and we get the stop for a loss of one. Now I got a feeling he's passing. And uh, we're going to guard the middle of the field. I'm going to hop on Baker. Oh, he's not passing. He got me, but uh, he didn't get the defense. He only gets one yard back. He gets two, actually. One yard back from the original spot. We got ourselves a third and nine here. It would be a big stop. I'm in a 5-2. I don't know why I did that. But we're just testing out new formations. The Packers have not had this, this in uh, recent years. And DJ Reed, what a play. What a play, bro. Wow. All right. Fourth and nine. He's going for it. Obviously, this is a pass. And... DJ Reed can't make two great plays in a row, unfortunately. And he hit Veal. That's a pretty sweet screen, too, if, if I do say so myself. EA, this is not terrible. You guys have made some changes. I'm not hating it at all right now. All right. Second. All right, first and ten here. And he's throwing. We're going to play underneath. And, oh, my goodness, Micah Parsons in there for a sack. He got one in the last game when we were only in there for couple drives he's a dog he's an absolute dog and we're putting on a blitz this play all right we're putting on a blitz here second and 16 i'll back him further up i'm gonna hop on phillips getting that backfield quick 
Oh, I thought I jumped the snap, but he gets me going back, unfortunately. And he's got... He possession caught that. What was that? I'm starting to think this is this guy's first ever Madden. Uh, NRG J Locks, if you're watching this, I do apologize. Uh, you know, it, it is what it is. And there's nothing you can do about that. I think that's a silver. I think that's a silver. We've hit the two minute warning. We're still up 14 to nothing. And we've got a second and 16 coming up. I don't know what this guy could do to put himself back in this game. But it's just, it's not looking great right now for him. And uh, the Honey Badger is going to be down there. He is hitting some pretty good plays, though. Hits another underneath, and he's got a third and five now. we got to get the stop here. We know they're put. They're going to play this inside. They're hoping that they can hit something underneath. That was not underneath whatsoever, but that's okay. I'm going to call a timeout. We're going to get the ball back. We're going to score again. And here we go. Uh, you know, it's first and goal. He's probably, he's not running it. We're underneath, on everything. On everything. And we don't even need to waste. We're going to be able to get this ball back with over a minute left. If this works out well. And hopefully he settles for a field goal. But either way, the clock management here, stupendous. Great timeout called by us on the last play. And there we go. All right, third and goal at the six. We got to be ready to stop anything. Underneath, he hits CMC, but he gets bottled. And now a fourth and four. We're wasting our timeout. And hopefully we can get this stop. Here we go. Can we get the stop? I have no clue. I hope we can, though. We're underneath there. Perfect. And we get the stop. I would quit if I were him. I'd quit. We have a minute left. I'm going to score another touchdown. I would quit. And if that does happen, I'm sorry you guys are getting two first halves, but... It is already uh, 11.30 tonight, and uh, I got to edit this and get this up and then wake up early tomorrow for uh, for some training for work, and, uh, you know, I just don't have it in me to play another, and par, what a play. I mean, he's a dog, man. He's an absolute dog. What more would you expect out of him? And here we go. First and 10. At the worst, just incomplete pass. That's what we wanted. All right, here we go. We have... That player is hot. I don't know how he's hot, but we have a second and ten here. Xavier Worthy is open, and we just don't even get time to get that off. All right, wasting a lot of time on that clock. But Worthy is open again, and he just falls down. We can hopefully get to the line and spike it. I don't think we can, though. All right, well... We just wasted wasted a minute. That's okay. We're still up 14 to nothing going into the second half. And uh, we're kicking it back off to him. D-Hop's going to make the catch. And we're all over it. Okay, we're not. We're not. We're trying to sell. We're trying to sell. All right. They have the ball at the 39. This is not what we wanted to really start this thing out. But we do stuff him... Only two yards after. That's great, too. I'll take it. I'm a fan of this. This is positive plays here. And he's got a... He's got a second and eight now. He's got to figure something out. Because what he's been doing just hasn't been working. But he does hit the underneath route. I thought he'd see me there and just kind of scare him off. But I guess not. All right. Another first and ten, man. I, 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 you know... If we could get a hit stick on CMC, that would be great because he is gassed right now. He's been getting a lot of touches. If we could get a hit stick on CMC, he's panting. You can see him panting. Give it to CMC. I'm getting a hit stick. Mr. Landman is going to come in here and drill him. And that was definitely pass interference. Not on D-Hop, though. Nobody caught it. I don't see a pass interference there. And here we go. Third and ten, we got to make the stop. This would be a huge stop in this game. It'd be, it'd be nice. It'd be nice. And he throws a pick. Derek Stingley, take it back the other way. Come on, man. Come on. Do I take the block? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Touchdown. 
Derek Stingley Jr., are you kidding? And we'll see you later. We will see you later. What a game, man. I won. All right, I'm sorry we couldn't get a full game in today, but thank you guys so much for checking out the video. I think this isn't too bad. This isn't too bad to start. Obviously, we haven't seen the abilities in play quite yet. I hope they've kind of nerfed those. Uh, but it honestly looks like they've done quite a bit of work on uh, on Ultimate Team, at least. Soon we're going to get into Franchise and see how that is. Uh, you know, they really kind of don't pay attention to that too much. So we'll see how it is. And, uh, you know, overall, I'll give Mutt, after a half a game, I'll give it an 8 out of 10 so far. There's a few things that I would critique but overall, from EA, I'm pretty impressed. So, overall, I, I'm pretty happy with this. But uh, I will be sticking to college football for the most part. It, there's just no beating the college football video game. But thank you guys so much for checking out the video. I hope you guys come back and check out more. Make sure to like and subscribe to see more. And uh, I will see you guys very soon. Have a great rest of your day, night, whatever it is. And I will see you guys soon. Peace.